Hi, I'm Chris James and you're watching A Healthy Alternative. Today we're going to look at how you can determine what's a healthy snack. All right, guys, so before we get into the video today, I got a couple of announcements. I want to get them out the way real quick, so here we go. On the Facebook group last week, I announced that I had launched a website. So A Healthy Alternative now has a website, and I will be leaving the link to the website in this video, as well as I'm going to be looking to update all the other videos so that the link will be in all of the videos. But it is www.ahealthyalternative.org. And basically the reason I came up with the website is because I noticed that YouTube and Facebook alike were both censoring me to a degree, whether it was uh, not really getting my videos out there, whether it was messing with the comments, people having issues with comments and subscribers and likes, or if it was uh, with Facebook not being able to reach all of the members in the group with messages and information, things like that. So I've decided to kind of create our own platform where you guys can go um, and I really really encourage you guys to go check out the the website uh, I have a newsletter and this is very important guys uh, make sure that you sign up for the newsletter because what it's going to do is I'm going to be using it to alert you of new videos events that I'll be setting up in the future and also I'm going to be doing a weekly like video recap blog so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking some of the top comments or some of the comments that I feel are very important where I need to respond to or I'm getting a lot of questions, same questions, and I'll be putting that on the blog for you guys to review later on in the week. Also, it'll be an opportunity as things progress and I, I'm not able to keep up with comments as, as well as I am now, I'll be able to kind of still communicate that information to you guys as well as make corrections on the videos and things of that nature. So please make sure to sign up for the newsletter, check out the website, and that will be all for the announcements today. All right guys, so today we're gonna to be looking at healthy snacks. We're gonna be looking at what is a healthy snack, what isn't a healthy snack, and I'm going to try to point out some of the common misconceptions with snacking and where the pitfalls are. All right, so uh, I've been working in schools the past uh, about a year or so, uh, doing electrical work, we're renovating, a lot of the schools out here are renovating. And one of the things that I paid attention to is what they were promoting to the children in schools as far as healthy snacks, healthy foods, what should they be eating? Because I know for a fact that what they're teaching is wrong. It's the same stuff they taught me or a modified, modified version of it. And as we've been seeing since the food pyramid came out, America has been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I imagine across the world, you're looking at the same propaganda. So what I noticed was something that I never thought that I would see. Uh, there was an ice cream machine in one of my schools and the ice cream machine said something like smart health or healthy choice or something like that and it was like this certification and it pretty much says something along the lines of this is a healthy snack because of this reason and I'm like wait a minute this is ice cream you know so I bought an ice cream looked at the ingredients of course I wasn't surprised to find out there was plenty of chemicals in it um, it's just it's amazing to me that they have the nerve to promote ice cream as a healthy snack it's not healthy. Now there's, there's, there's alternatives to ice cream, obviously um, nice cream where you use fruits and bananas. Bananas like the big one to make an ice cream. That would be a great option, but this is not what they're doing. Now in addition to promoting to our children these unhealthy snacks like the ice creams, the, uh, the, 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 the fruit juices that aren't real fruit juices, gold, um, goldfish, cereals, and all this other crap, Right now we've got to deal with the fast foods and then at home we're not getting proper meals either because us as parents we're not educated so we're not even preparing meals in a way that are that's healthy so it's building this uh, society of unhealthy eaters, unknowledgeable eaters so we're going to be looking at that a little bit more today. I went shopping today and I bought a couple of snacks and um, well first I'm going to tell you a story. Last week I was on my way to work I was running, I was early, and I needed to stop at Whole Foods to drop a package off. So I decided to grab, you know, something quick in their little containers. You know, they make it at the store. And I wanted to get me some broccoli, 
uh, which uh, I haven't, I don't typically eat broccoli because it's a hybrid, but lately I've been having it. And so uh, I grabbed a little case of broccoli and it had some, you know, some little sauce in there or something like that. And um, it didn't have the vegetarian or stick, the vegan sticker on it, but I looked at it. <laughs> I looked at it and I'm like, okay, it's just broccoli with some sauce on it. It should be fine. And I got some sushi. All right. So uh, I start eating it and I'm like, man, this taste is familiar. You know, it's like, yeah, it's broccoli or whatever, but you flavor it however you want. Right. And I'm like, man, some, some tastes like meat in here. Right. So eventually I bite into something that was like kind of tough and chewy. I'm like, whoa, what is this? And lo and behold, it was bacon. They had put bacon in the freaking broccoli. I was so pissed. And it just, it, it didn't teach me a lesson in the sense that I didn't know this. It kind of refreshed my memory that we have to be cognitive of what we're buying. Uh, we got to look at the ingredients, even the stuff that they're making in the stores. Cause if it's a package or something like that, I do typically like read it. Now I know that if it's in a package, it's been processed. So the chances are it's not good for me in one way or the other. But the goal of this is not to avoid all of the toxicity in our environment 24 seven. That would drive someone insane. OK, the only way to do that is to pretty much leave the country, go to a remote part of the world where, you know, you're pretty much the only person there. There's no car, train, planes, it boats, etc. cetera. Um, maybe a tropical island would work, which actually doesn't sound too bad, but I digress. So the packages they're going, they're going, it's, it's a packaged food, so it's not going to be good for you. All right. That's the one thing I want you guys to understand. But even with the stuff that they're making at the store, you still got to pay attention to the ingredients because there was bacon in there. It's, it's broccoli. Like why is there even bacon in there? I was so pissed because it was like $5. All right. So anyway, I got to get off that because I'm going to relive it and it's going to upset me. Uh, so anyway, uh, you guys know I like shopping at Whole Foods. So I got some cookies from Whole Foods a few weeks ago. Uh, and I sometimes I will allow myself to have little stuff here and there. Uh, I don't buy cookies often. I don't buy pastries often. But once again, I don't I don't stick to a strict alkaline diet. I do like the freedom of being able to have my vices, have some sweets here and there. Uh, you know, I do eat things that I wouldn't consider healthy knowingly. I eat them um, just because it's something that I want in the moment. Now, what I will say is. A lot of the snacks I eat are healthier than, you know, other snacks, but I'm not really an advocate of that term healthier because it's either healthier or it's not. So what, what I'm doing is I'm mitigating the amount of toxicity that I, that I consume by trying to pick items that have less toxins in them. And we got to be real with ourselves and we got to keep this in mind. When I talk about, um, you know, there's four food categories I tell you guys to stay away from processed foods, refined sugars, meat products, dairy products. So when we're talking about the processed foods, we're talking about pretty much anything that was, you know, went through a warehouse. It was a, there was a manufacturing process. You know, um, if if Whole Foods sells the fresh squeezed orange juice that I like, I wouldn't consider that a processed food. Yes, it does come in a plastic container but it's the, the oranges are fresh squeezed there at the store. There's no preservatives and it's not pasteurized. Now we're going to get into some other stuff in a second, but I wouldn't consider that a processed food. That would be very, very close to you squeezing the oranges at home. Hopefully you guys will put it in a glass jar, but okay, here's the cookies I got. Now these cookies are some sunflower seed rolled oats cookies. Now the sunflower seeds are cool, but the rolled oats wouldn't be considered alkaline. Uh, but whatever, we're not really looking for an alkaline snack right now. Uh, but if you look at the ingredients, it says rolled oats, sweet cream, butter, that's buttermilk, brown sugar, enriched, enriched, unbleached flour, wheat flour. Okay. All of the flowers are, are no bueno. Okay. We want to stay away from flowers. Um, iron, uh, sunflower seed, sugar, baking soda, vanilla extract. There's a whole bunch of other stuff in here. There's nothing healthy about these cookies. All right. They, they look healthy. You get them from Whole Foods. Uh, do they, are they processed in a, in a manner that is better than an Oreo cookie? Absolutely. Does it mean that you should indulge and eat a whole bag of them and then next week go get another bag? No, not at all. You still want to eat this in moderation because it's not healthy. It's not a healthy snack. Okay. Let's look at another one. These are some chips that I like to get every once in a while. 
Uh, and I'm not promoting any of these brands, by the way. I, I want you guys to understand that. I do consider these unhealthy snacks. All right, um, but it says non-GMO, okay? Non-GMO verified on there. So you might think it's healthy. Uh, it, up here at the top, it's got the big 140 calories per serving. You might think, oh, it doesn't have that many calories. It's all a scam, okay? In, in, in life, in this world, anytime they got something in big, bold print, and it's what they're showing you, or it's what they talk about all the time, they're being deceptive, all right? And I talked about this before. It's the same thing when you're going to get a loan from the bank. If they're talking about interest, 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 you see 0% interest for such amount of time, or 4% interest, or whatever, and that's what they're putting in front of you, it means that it's worthless, it's meaningless, the interest is not important at all. It means that they're deceiving you, and there's something else you need to be looking at, and in the case of of a loan, you need to be looking at the terms of the agreement of the agreement because if you're paying 5% interest over 30 years, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, but you'll think, oh, it's only 5% interest. But anyway, I digress. Again, uh, I haven't done a video in a while. I know I've been releasing them every week, but I had a couple that was stacked up, so I'm all excited and it's sunny outside and my hair is all curly. By the way, guys, I did this to my hair by myself. Uh, I twisted it, I two strand twisted it, and I took it out. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. It's, I like it, but I don't know if I like it better than my old hair. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm. All right, so not healthy. Once again, okay, you look on the back, uh, potatoes, avocado oil, rice flour, definitely don't want that. Evaporated cane sugar, nope. Uh, garlic powder, extract, yeast, extract, yeast, extract, okay. Yeah, so definitely not healthy, guys. I'm gonna give you one more example because I, I think it's necessary. Let's look at a juice real quick. Uh, I know a lot of people like, like the V8 splashes. They think the V8 splashes are healthy. V8 splashes are not healthy. Uh, Simply Lemonade, not healthy. I, the list goes on and on and on. If it's not fresh squeezed, it's not healthy. Now, as far as juices go, this is, let's see, pure Concord grape juice. And the ingredients are organic Concord grape juice. Sounds healthy, right? We're, we're on the right track. Oh, also, it's certified, unsweetened, no additives, no preservative, preservatives, no gluten, uh, allergy-free, 100% um, juice, not from concentrate. So this sounds really, really good. Is it pasteurized? Let's see if it says non-pasteurized anywhere on here. Um, nope. I don't see non-pasteurized. Guess what? It's not healthy. It, is, it, is it like one of the best juices you could probably buy in this format? Yeah, probably. But we still shouldn't look at this, oh, this is a healthy juice. No, you know why? Because it's not fresh squeezed, number one. Uh, it's vacuum sealed to keep the freshness, but it's not fresh squeezed and it's pasteurized. So even with all of the other certifications and everything else, even the non-GMO, that doesn't mean anything. All right, guys, non-GMO is a, it, it's a standard, okay? It means that they're, they're, when, when the fruit gets to the customer, there is a certain amount of pesticide residue that is allowed to be on that fruit. It doesn't mean that it was never there to begin with, and it doesn't mean that it is um, healthy. It's just a standard to say, okay, this fruit has less pesticides than the, the certified, the, the other um, conventional fruits. That's all it means. So once again, we have to stay cognitive of what's healthy and what's not healthy. I would not consider this a healthy drink. Now, if this was fresh squeezed grape juice, that you, you know, maybe the store sells or something like that, that'd be a different story. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's look at some healthy snacks. And you may be surprised to see it's whole fruit. Look at that. This is a mango. All right. Now, um, I don't know what kind of mango this is. Cham I don't know. Champagne mango. I don't know what that means. Uh, I tend to like these. They usually get a lot more like this orangish color. I don't know if you guys could pick that up. This is usually more oranges. I'm gonna let this one ripen a little bit. This is a healthy snack. I got some more healthy snacks for you. Oh God, this is the king of the healthy snacks. This is an avocado. Now this one's ripe, or not ripe, I'm sorry. This one is, needs a couple of days probably. I like to buy ripe ones and unripe ones so I can have them all the time. But um, this is a healthy snack. 
You know, uh, I, I'll take this, cut it up into small pieces, sprinkle some salt, some uh, smoked paprika, uh, some onion powder on it. Delicious, delicious. Also, you could turn this into sauces. You can make ice cream out of this. You could do everything. It's fatty. There's a lot you could do with the avocado. So uh, it's a very, very great fruit to use for snacks and anything, sauces, whatever. Last but not least, I've got a strawberry. And uh, this strawberry is unthawing. I keep mine frozen because I like to put them in smoothies. But pretty much, I will take some bananas, some strawberries, some mango, uh, grapes. I've got some grapes. I bought some grapes too. And I'll put that in a bl in blender and I'll make a smoothie. Actually, my favorite smoothie is uh, strawberry, banana, and grape, which I don't find that anybody puts grape in their smoothie, which is weird to me because it's delicious and it adds a level of flavor that takes the smoothie to next heights. But anyway, um, yeah, these are healthy snacks. So let's not kid ourselves, guys. The strawberry's bleeding on me. I just wanted to do this video so that we, we're cognitive. We, we need to know what's healthy, what's not healthy, what to look out for. When I'm telling you to stay away from processed foods, I'm telling you to pretty much stay away from anything in a package. If you're gonna eat it, eat it in moderation. I don't eat this stuff every day, okay? The, the cookies and the chips that I showed you. Uh, um, I might buy them once, maybe once or twice um, a month. Well, probably about twice a month is probably a little bit more accurate. And when I eat them, um, you know, I'll spread it out. I just, I don't eat a lot of it. Cause our bodies are designed to, to expel a lot of toxins. So. Don't feel like you're trapped in a particular diet or anything. You can, there's a lot of things that you can enjoy in extreme moderation. Like just, just don't go crazy with it. All right, I'm going to cut this one off. I think I'm getting long winded and you guys don't like that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out the website because uh, I, I have a feeling that I'm going to be able to do a lot more things with that and I don't want you guys missing out on anything. So come check out the website, a healthyalternative.org. And as always, the application of knowledge is power and I will see you guys next time.